as we all know, Dogecoin is in a bit of a slump right now. But is it really something to be scared of, or do we still have reasons to be optimistic? This is what we'll talk about in this video. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we go any further, please keep in mind that we're giving away $500 to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment on your favorite crypto. Read our description for more info about it. Now, let's get started with today's video. Currently, Dogecoin is trading at around 24.5 cents and it's back in the green again. Still, the fear and greed index of Dogecoin hasn't recovered. Yesterday, it was at 43 and now, it has reached 33. This just means that the fear of investing in Doge is taking over and the retail investors are way more wary to get into the market. And this is why we need to address everything that's happening and everything that could happen, based on some new data from today. Since the correlation between Dogecoin and Bitcoin has always been high, Dogecoin crash was pretty much inevitable after the recent Bitcoin crash. As you can see here, the correlation is still 39, which is still enough to move Dogecoin's price in Bitcoin's direction. Before we talk more about Dogecoin's charts and analysis, let's look at some analysis for Bitcoin that will most likely affect Doge too, considering the high correlation. In his recent video, the popular analyst, Michael Vanda Pop shared his opinion on where we're going from here. He thinks there is no way that Bitcoin's trend is going to stay bearish. He said that Bitcoin's next support levels are 44k and then 43k. And then he said something really important, which was, On the upside, we also know that 46.7k is still a very important resistance level. If that cracks, I think the chances that we're going to break through 47.5k all the way towards 50k is significant, and that will bring strength to the altcoin markets as the altcoins will just follow suit. And I have to agree with the last line. Altcoins like Doge are going to follow suit because of the high correlation that I just showed you. Moving on, another prediction came from the CEO of the crypto exchange FTX. He said that he is very happy with the crash. He thinks crashes are great for the crypto market because these crashes make the market a lot less messy. Yes, crashes are a scary time for investors. But, according to Bankman, it's a healthy trend and it really results in some hot air leaving the space. So, even if Dogecoin is going through a slump right now, it's good for the market, according to the founder of one of the biggest crypto exchanges. Another thing that's great for the crypto market is how a lot of countries are starting to embrace cryptos after El Salvador's recent move. But before we talk about it, let's take a look at some new stats for Bitcoin for a minute. This article talks about how Bitcoin traders have reversed a deposit trend that emerged during the mid-May crash. Basically, during that crash, more and more traders were depositing their holdings into exchanges. And so we can take it as a reversal from a speculation-focused to an investment-focused attitude. This implies that traders are looking to hold for longer periods of time, which is obviously a very bullish sign. And we are just talking about retail exchanges. The same is true for derivatives platforms, which have experienced significant withdrawals of BTC this week. Also, the traders who last transferred BTC to a new address between September 2019 and September 2020 haven't made a significant change to their holdings. And then there's data from Glassnode, an on-chain analytics firm, that said that the supply segment, which had last moved one to two years ago, had reached a three-year low. Now, let's talk about some people who have taken this crash as an opportunity to grill cryptos. One of them was the Rick's Bank governor, Stefan Ingves, who compared trading in Bitcoin to trading in stamps. And then there was the governor of the Bank of Mexico, who also spoke against Bitcoin. He said Bitcoin was a high-risk investment and due to its wild price swings, it's a poor store of value. But still, in my opinion, I don't think these are things to worry about at this moment. We know that the crash happened because of the high amount of liquidations from over-leveraged traders. And then there's more news about crypto adoption, which makes me quite excited about where we're headed from here. First and foremost, we have news from the leading fintech solutions company, called Nidic. So, Nidic has always been focused on Bitcoin services, and now, they have partnered up with MVB Bank to enable fiat and Bitcoin banking all at once. And for that, Nidic is going to integrate its Bitcoin stack into the bank's platform. 
Moreover, we have some pretty good news from Virginia as well, where even government workers are trying to gain crypto exposure now. Two Virginia public pension funds want to invest directly in an investment fund that buys Bitcoin and other crypto derivatives. They have planned it and are just waiting for approval now. And then there's Switzerland, which is another country that doesn't want to miss out. Just last week, Switzerland authorized a new digital stock exchange to promote trading in Bitcoin and other digital assets in the country. This stock exchange is called SDX and it will enable investors to easily trade, settle and store digital tokens. Finally, Vietnam is also showing a surge in the demand for crypto mining. One of the local crypto miners from Vietnam shared his opinion. He says there are two reasons for this increased demand. One is the fact that so many investors have made huge profits from cryptos. And second is the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has greatly reduced investment opportunities and crypto is the best option right now. Yes, there has been a huge drop in the price, but if you look at the bigger picture, you'll notice the interest in cryptos and other altcoins, including Dogecoin, is only increasing right now. However, it looks like Bitcoin is definitely seeing a higher demand than other altcoins right now. The altcoin season index is at 53 right now. This means Bitcoin is performing a lot better than the top 50 altcoins. Again, that's not entirely bad news. This is because the correlation between Bitcoin and Dogecoin is at 39 right now. That means, even if the demand of Doge isn't that high, a surge in Bitcoin will affect Dogecoin's price as well. Now, coming back to adoption, the leading non-custodial crypto P2P market, Local Cryptos, has also added support for Bitcoin Cash transactions on its platform. With this update, users can easily deposit, trade, and withdraw Bitcoin Cash from this platform. Even though this might sound like a small update, it's still great because platforms like these will gradually take the price of Bitcoin and altcoins back up. Now, let's talk about some pretty bad news from today. Mining and trading of cryptos in Nepal is now considered illegal and the Central Bank of Nepal has warned the citizens that participating in these activities can be seriously punishable. However, that hasn't scared its residents. Media reports revealed that a lot of Nepalese are still investing in Bitcoin and other cryptos. Nepal is one of the very few nations who are completely against crypto. Most nations, on the other hand, are trying to regulate them for its gradual mass adoption. They simply can't ignore the rising demand for cryptos at the moment. One of these countries is India. Being one of the leading countries with crypto investment, India needs a way to adopt cryptos. However, considering the country doesn't have a full capital account, it isn't possible for them to take the same regulatory steps like the United States. But still, India is currently trying to come up with a unique solution to balance the growth of cryptos and understand just how important the whole crypto space really is. Now, let's talk about some analytics for Dogecoin. If we look at the percentage of holders that are making a profit off of Dogecoin right now, it currently stands at 67. But still, the signals from today have mostly been bearish. Dogecoin is currently above its 200-day moving average and slightly below its 100-day moving average of 25.8 cents. Now, let's come back to its charts for a minute. The most important support level at the moment is 23 cents. If we break it, we may fall to 20 cents, followed by a consolidation phase. We could then consolidate between 23 and 26 cents through the weekend. And we know that cryptos generally rally a bit on Mondays. So, that's another thing we'll have to look out for. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye. Take care.